What's up, everybody? The weather's getting cold. The leaves are starting to fall. It only means one thing. We're getting close to cross season. Welcome back to another episode of Fresh Produce, BTI's weekly series where we take advantage of our huge warehouse of products and show you some different items in detail. This week, we're going to take a look at a comparison between cyclocross tires. Uh, you know, these are pretty versatile. They might fit on your road bike for some winter commuting. They might work for a little bit of gravel in the right conditions. And of course, plenty of cross racing. We've got tires that work especially well for mud, sand, grass, all of the above. Check them out. Let's dive in a little deeper. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss a future video. Let's get started. All right, here we are starting things off with the Hutchinson Piranha 2. This is sort of a classic cross tire, fast rolling, but still with some uh, Good knobs on the side for grip, cornering grip. All right, moving right along. The IRC Serac CX. This tire, there's a whole line surrounding it. This is the kind of all around tire, but there's also the Serac Edge for extremely fast rolling. There's a Serac Mud and a grass version as well. Okay. Now here we've got a Donnelly. This company, has, we've got tires in tubular, clincher style, and tubeless. This one's called the BOS, stands for Boston, Massachusetts, where they've got a ton of mud in their cross course. It's got big paddles for a lot of good traction and a lot of space to shed that mud. Uh, check out the um, LAS version. That stands for Las Vegas, and that tire is specifically made for grass courses. Pretty cool to compare and see how these different tires stack up for different conditions. All right, here we've got the Tureen Elwood. Now this one's a little different. It's actually a 35C tire, um, so could be aimed a little more at a gravel rider, and it is a little more like a gravel tire with a really fast center lug and still good grip along the edge. Could be really applicable to a lot of cross courses, we know most folks are not getting held to that 33C um, width. Um, you know, kind of a useful tool on our website is the advanced search function. It allows you to help uh, narrow down your tire size by width. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end in a pro tip. Moving right along. Here we've got the Kenda Happy Medium. This is a tire with really small close spaced lugs along the center for a lot of speed and much more aggressive knobs along the corners. So you're gonna get a really fast roll out of this tire. It also a little more robust casing, so great to prevent flats and punctures. All right, here we've got the Schwalbe X1. These knobs are a little more like round dots going to get you very good speed as well as good traction. All right. Here's a unique tire. It's the Challenge Baby Linus. This one's unique because it's actually handmade and you can see the tread is sort of adhered right onto the casing of the tire. Pretty interesting to check out the construction there. It's a 300 TPI casing so really supple and just has a unique look try to get you an idea of the shape. So this tire is really heavily used by a lot of the pros along with its uh, sibling, the regular Linus. All right, now moving into some interesting tire comparisons. Here we've got the Regacross from Panaracer, a 33C version on the right and a 35C on the left here. Pretty big differences in volume, so I think you know, if you're not necessarily held to that 33, you can really look at some variety of tires. Same tread, but it sure is a lot more widely spaced than the 35C version and should get you a lot more traction and comfort. This tread should roll fast, but also shed mud well. All right. Here we've got the Ritchie Megabyte. It's actually another one that's a little bigger, 38C, so could kind of get into that gravel realm, but it's really a cross type tread, really versatile, um, but offering more traction and comfort with a bigger size. 
And I want to compare that right along with the Ritchie Speed Max. You can see just such a difference. This is a 32C tire, but also very fast rolling center knobs with still some aggressive side, side knobs there. Always interesting to compare side by side, something from the same brand and how the tires kind of speak to each other, but have some major differences. Same idea here with the Maxxis. All terrain. That tire looks a lot like the Mountain uh, Recon. So if you like that tire in the Mountain size, might be good to try it out in the cross size too. On the other side here, we've got the Speed Terrain, almost like a semi-slick Mountain tire. Big side knobs, but basically flat center tread. So you can just kind of imagine where uh, the terrain where these might be best. And um, again, lots of options from all these manufacturers. Pretty cool to look at them up close. Hey, I wanted to mention uh, this week that, um, a special feature of the BTI website. Find us at bti-usa.com. We have an advanced search feature that helped me kind of narrow down the tire selection. We have a, a warehouse full of tires. I couldn't have cho chosen um, you know, all of them to cover today. But I whittled things down a little bit by going through the tires in the advanced search and choosing to select by width. These are all going to be around that 33C width, um, appropriate for cyclocross. We have a little variation because not everyone is held to that standard. But check it out. It'll help you in all different categories on our website.